Good evening, vaping bread bins. You're there, I'm here. That must mean it's time for another honest flavor review from the vaping mods. Tonight, it is the turn of unicorn tears from Sweet Vapes and their desserts range. So then, Unicorn Tears, interesting name for a vape juice. I wasn't even aware that unicorns had tears. Never seen one cry. How evil, how dark side do you have to be to make a unicorn cry? I don't know, but apparently uh, sweet vapes are dark enough to make a unicorn cry and they have bottled it and put it in a lovely bottle for us to vape away on. Let's have a little look at what Sweet Vapes say about this juice. Now, normally at this point, I will have a little look on the website and see what it says. But today, let's take a look at the Sweet Vapes menu and see what that says about Unicorn Tears. So, Sweet Vapes say, Unicorn Tears, strawberry cream custard biscuit. Mm -mm. Sounds right up my street. It's thick, it's creamy, it smells amazing when you open the bottle, like a supercharged strawberry milkshake blended with custard and digestive biscuits. Well, let's see about that. I can and I do agree that when I did open this bottle of Unicorn Tears from Sweet Vapes to put the nicotine in, it did smell rather special. Let's have another little smell now and see what it smells like. Well, I have to say that on the smell test, I'm getting strawberries and I'm getting some kind of biscuity, pastry, cakey layer with that. Let's get some on the finger, see what it tastes like. Mmm, more of the same. Strawberry, creamy, biscuity. If it vapes like that, then I'm in for a right treat, ladies and gentlemen. So what's the difference between Justin Bieber and a unicorn? Well, one is a mythical creature only found in the dreams of young girls. The other one is a unicorn. Enough of that. So I have giving it a smell, giving you my thoughts. I've done the finger drip taste, giving you my thoughts. There's only one more thing for it. Let's get it in a tank and let's vape on it and I will give you my thoughts. As ever for these reviews, or as ever so far, Bassium Dual Squonk Mod, which I'm only using as a dripper at this point in time, dripping tank on top. It has got a, uh, a bottom feeding squonk pin. Uh, however, I'm just going to use it as a dripper at this point. So let's get some on the coils, which are fresh coils, fresh wicks for this test. Let's get those coils well and truly saturated and we'll give it a vape. In my head. Okay, so coils nice and truly saturated. Mmm, moist. 60 watts, let her rip, Tato Chip. Everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. Wish am I wrapped in? Wrapped around. Wrapped around. Wrapped around. Wrapped around. Wrapped around. Wish am I wrapped in? Wrapped around. Psyche sabotage. And Nike's need a job. Gorgeous in the fog. Filter out the smog. Information log so fast the past recalls You back the future stalls Fade to black the present calls Pull out some liquor but the homies lost But the homies, but the homies, but the homies lost 
So, what am I getting in that flavour profile? Well, I'm pleased to uh, to report that everything they've put in the description there, I'm getting in that taste. So I'm getting the strawberries, I'm getting the cream, I'm getting the biscuit, I'm getting all of that. What else did they say was in it? Let's have another quick look. They mentioned custard as well. Uh, and yeah, that forms part of that sort of creaminess, that vanilla flavour. It is all there. It's really quite strange, to be honest. It's um, when you take that first hit off the vape, it's got this quality to it, which is very difficult to describe, really. The only thing I can say that it's like, or that it reminds me of, and this is gonna sound a little bit weird, I do admit, going back to my childhood, when I had um, Play-Doh, Play-Doh is what it is, um, and playing with Play-Doh, and I, it had that smell, which got, it kind of got to the back of your throat and you wanted to eat it. Now, I'm not saying that this juice, Sweet Vapes Unicorn Tears, tastes like marzipan, because it doesn't. And I believe that marzipan or almonds is that prominent smell uh, with, with Play-Doh. I'm not saying it's got that. I'm just saying it's a similar feeling that when you were playing with Play-Doh as a kid, maybe even now, if you play with Play-Doh as an adult, um, you've got this tendency to want to eat it. It gives you this warm, fuzzy feeling. Uh, and I know that sounds like really new age hippie, let's go hug some trees of me, but it does give you this warm, fuzzy feeling. And that's what this juice does for me. It doesn't taste like what Play-Doh smells like, but it gives that same kind of feeling. Um, and when you do vape it, yes, absolutely, you are getting the strawberry, the biscuit, the custard, and uh, the cream as well. Now, some of you might be asking, well, what's on the inhale, what's on the exhale? Well, there's only one way I can answer that, and that's for me to have another go on that juice and think about the inhale, think about the exhale. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna be right back. Those voices, those voices, those voices, those voices in my head, those voices in my head. <laughs> really strange that's a really complicated flavor profile and really the flavors the tastes for me anyway they hit me in three maybe even four stages so initially on that inhale what I'm getting is the strawberry now it's not doesn't taste like an organic strawberry to me and I don't mean that in a negative way it's a positive it tastes like a strawberry sweet maybe um, almost again going back to my childhood uh, Hubba Bubba Bubblegum, the original flavour, which was a kind of strawberry kind of flavour. It's that kind of taste that you get in initially and immediately on the inhale. When that strawberry, that sweetness, the sharpness of the strawberry hits, then you get this, this feeling, this taste of cream and vanilla custard on the back of your, uh, the back of your throat, the, the back of the roof of your mouth, that's what comes immediately after. You also then get that taste on your lips. Um, I have this terrible, probably, habit of licking my lips after I've taken a hit on a vape, and that's the flavor I'm getting on my lips. Then on the exhale, there comes that biscuit, that <laughs> biscuit, there comes that lovely, crumbly, buttery, biscuity taste. That's on the exhale, and now my mouth uh, and the back of my teeth feels coated with it, like I've been eating that kind of dessert. Do you know what I mean? Do you know the sort of thing I mean, that texture that you get on the back of your teeth? It kind of, you can feel it almost. So you're getting all four of those flavor profiles at different times on that vape, which is remarkable. It's incredible. Um, that is really, really tasty juice. Sweet vapes, yet again, one more time, knocked it, out of the park. That is superb. I'm going to have a little bit more on that. Yep. 
It's exactly what I just said it was. Those four stages of that juice hitting your lips. So, am I happy with this juice? Yes, I am. Would I recommend this juice to you? And yes, I absolutely 100% recommend this juice to you. If you're a fan of desserts, look it up. Um, it's sweet, it's sharp, it's fruity, it's biscuity, it's creamy. Really, it's everything that most, if not all, dessert lovers look for in a juice and more. All I could ever wish for and more. It is magnificent juice. Well done, Sweet Vapes. That is brilliant. Um, if you are more into your clean fruits and you're thinking, eh, maybe I'll start looking at some desserts, maybe I could get into it, maybe start with that one because that is mighty, mighty fine juice. So um, I spent my own money on that juice. Am I happy that I did so? Yes, I am. Will I buy it again? Yes, I will. Will I smash the rest of that 50 ml bottle? And yes, absolutely, I am going to smash the rest of that bottle. Will I buy it again? Yes, I will. Unicorn tears, what a juice. What a juice, ladles and jelly spoons. Let's give it a mark out of 10. I am going to give that, in fact, I have never done this before. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. And I tell you what as well, I'm not only giving that a 10 out of 10 because of the value, you may have seen on some previous videos that I've done, some previous reviews. I gave Sweet Vapes and that particular juice a high mark, not only because of the taste, but also because of the value of it as well, at 6.99 currently for 50 mil, which is remarkable value, by the way. I'm giving that 10 out of 10 because it deserves a 10 out of 10. If that was a tenner for 50 mil, if that was 12.99 for 50 mil, if that was 15.99 for 50 mil, I would still give Sweet Vapes Unicorn Tears a 10 out of 10. It is just remarkable dessert juice. Mm. I can't wait to vape some more on it. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Oh, just wonderful. What I would say with this juice, okay, I reviewed the blueberry donuts well what was blueberry donuts is now blueberry muffin juice a uh, a short while ago and what i was saying about that juice is that it was quite a subtle flavor now this isn't quite as subtle but compared to the juicy mango that i review uh, that i reviewed recently it is more subtle than that it's not like being smashed in the face with a mango well you wouldn't expect it to because there's no mango in the juice but you know what i mean right it's not like being smashed in the face with some unicorn tears, <laughs> okay? Um, it is uh, it is more subtle than that. It's more delicate than that. It's more, it's more grown up than that. It's more sophisticated than that. Did I say that already, sophisticated? It is a little bit more subtle. So don't buy this juice expecting that the flavor is gonna blow your head off. Do buy this juice if you want a complicated flavor profile, but where you can taste all of the flavors that they say are in the juice, because you absolutely can. Do buy this juice if you want something that a little bit more subtle. There's something that it, 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 it comes onto you gradually. You can absolutely taste the, 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 the flavors straight away, but it is a little bit more subtle. Um, so I will say that, but even so, even with that, that for me is a 10 out of 10 juice. It is brilliant. Well done, Sweet Vapes. Just superb. Do yourselves a favor. If you've not already checked out the Sweet Vapes website, do so. Go and look at all the flavors they have to offer. They have got around about 50 flavors on uh, this menu on their website available for you to, to purchase, to try, to enjoy. Do yourselves a favor, go out and look them up and do yourselves a favor as well and buy yourself a bottle of Sweet Vapes Unicorn Tears. Really, 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 really good juice. Not a lot more for me to say on that other than, did you know 
that the saying, oh, I could eat a horse, was invented by Chuck Norris. He invented that when he ate the last of the unicorns. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I should have kept that in my inside voice. I have a tendency to, to speak before I think. I don't engage brain first. Mm. Anyway, um, all that remains for me to say is thank you for tuning in to this. Another honest flavor review from The Vaping Mods. I hope that you found this video useful, informative, and that it gives you the confidence to go out and check out that juice. I will catch you next time. This has been another Honest Flavor review from The Vaping Mods. Catch you soon. Take care. Peace.